we want to have enough money so we can have a good life and also give in zakah, in charity and whatnot. That's, that's the questions you guys have to ask yourselves now because this is a time to really be getting serious and really be on point. My name is Yusuf, I'm an Italian I work at Senna and um, yeah, also bought a credit as well. My name is Lakeem, I'm studying at the moment and I'm going to Gambia to help people and this coach. Yeah, my name is Hamza, I grew up in this community and I always come to every day. The first phase of our Give to Gambia project. Um, I'm going to be taking a few interviews on how everyone's feeling about our journey right about now. What are you looking forward to the most? To praying. Yeah, and yeah. And helping out the poor people. Yeah. You know, finish building that mosque. Before we do the mosque. Giving that back. <laughs> <laughs> helping out the kids, you get? And we're here on NLMCC TV. Just come up the play, Monarch. Where we hit down touchdown Gambia. I don't know what the weather is, but yes, baby, we're in Africa, and it's beautiful right here. We just came here. Uh, to these small supermarkets to buy rice, purchase 20 bags of 30, 40 kilo rices and we're going to go to three different villages and inshallah we're going to give them to the needy people. We're actually going to hand them out. And all the boys are going to basically do that inshallah. That's the Yeah, I want to go down. Yeah, you can you up. Yeah, you can call you up. Yeah, you can call you up. Two wells within like, close proximity, I would say about 200 meters. One of them just visited the well. All that side of the village will use that well. And so the people are just going to queue up and then just come with their buckets and just take the water. It's proper old school. It's, it's, it's yeah. Back in the day, what India had, exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs>
London Muslim Community Centre and we come here to Gambia on our G2G Give to Gambia project. This is the future of Gambia. Yeah, the future of Gambia. Right here we've got the president. <laughs> <laughs> What are we gonna do? Going to do? We're going to take the car to a local village, go and buy some pens and whatever it is. Um, in the meantime, what you could do, if you can arrange everyone to kind of take photographs with the goalposts, where we're gonna, well, the existing goalposts, and uh, around the area, so we can do a before and after picture as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll bring football. I'll bring, I'll bring more than one football. Whatever I can get hold of, I'll just I'll bring. This is the goalpost that we're going to, yeah. inshallah, make much better. So we're telling this is what they had. And then yeah. it's a Khadija when this fits, to fit the new one. Subhanallah, what is your name? Huh? Al Amin. Al Amin. This is your class. What do you do after school? I go and make wudu. Girls, toilet, see? It's hot. This is the girls' toilet. This is the girls' toilet? Yeah. How many teachers does this school have? We have um, three teachers and one and, and one staff. And how many students? Students, we have um, 92 students. 92 students. Yeah. So you have three, four teachers yeah. for 92 students. Yeah. So what's the age? Like from 16 to? Yeah, 16 to 7. And how many people live in this village around? Three to four thousand people. Three to four thousand. How, how many of them are kids? Kids. Yeah. Between like 7 to 16, you said? Maybe a thousand plus of them. Thousand plus. So you have about thousand kids, okay, and only ninety two are in school. Mm -hmm. to Banjo High School we've got a football match with the locals so we're walking wait, through wait, wait, wait. Wembley playing. Tunnel I'm not playing so you're gonna get back <laughs> Good luck. this is our brother Usman he's been helping us out and all the way through and brother, and brother Ibrahim how are you how are you I'm the chair passing of this okay. yeah, 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 yeah. just make it short yeah. Thank you, this is the embarrassing bit, yeah? We've come for charity, but we've been giving charity. They're giving us their kids the pleasure. Close him. Yeah, so like his accent from all the way down. Community Centre was established more than 30 years ago with particular emphasis on the development of sports around the world. The Gambia, being a civil and peaceful country, attracted the UK based youth organisation to visit the young footballing nation on the smiling coast of West Africa. We've got a group of 12 young people that have come along with us two, work, two youth workers and seven volunteers, all for the sole, for the sole purpose of just trying to provide for their brothers and sisters in the Gambia. Our purpose is to reach out to those that don't, are not accessing 
help and support you know those that are, are you know below the poverty line the leader of the london based youth organization stated that his group through fundraising events was able to gather 5000 pounds to support development projects in the country for the sake that a lot of young people around the world have benefited from their services for the past 12 years founder of Nuru Al Islam charitable organization said her NGO has been in existence for the past 10 years when I did a charity in in, in the UK most of my uh, I sent containers here of charity things and most of the contribution comes from the, the, the community according to the young people they are not only impressed with the hospitality accorded to them by vice president Guy Sebi they are equally touched by her words of wisdom Mama Jay Yeah, yeah. No problem. No one here is there for us. What's the most amount of people you've had? 10, 15. One yeah, more, yeah? <laughs> 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 so it's a very busy one. I mean, this is busy one. I mean, Govi was established in 1991 yeah. uh, through the amalgamation of the Gambia Society for the Blind, which was formed in 1971, okay. and then Gambia Association of the Blind. So Brother Ibrahim is just showing some of the uh, okay, this is him. network this is that well. uh, the, the blind people do. Yeah. Yeah. So this person, no, that's, the, that's that yeah. one in making. He, he, that's he his one, that eh? one, yeah? Yeah. 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 He made. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. And he's also saying the brother who is blind yeah. has also been prayer mats. Exactly, yeah. Um, I think I haven't gone to the hospital today. I, the state of the beds were terrible. And there's obviously a, a lack of hospital facilities, so I think that's something we have. No, we haven't ex exactly sort of looked at deeply. So if you to look at that more thoroughly, then I think that's something that could help a lot of people. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I think um, we should invest in something like a borehole. Whereas I know you said it could be quite expensive, but I think, especially going on the journeys we went today and the past few days, it's been long journeys on the bus without any water or anything like that, really. And for me, I usually drink a lot of water, so I was pretty much, yeah. I need some water. Sponsorship. I sponsorship of kids for a while, or even like where they are at the moment. Just <laughs> if you can invest in that, so it's a better place or something. And buy like gifts for if you go to orphanage and bring gifts for kids. What kind of what kind of gifts should we get? Footballs, uh, coloring pens. Coloring, yeah. So this is your first time in the Gambia? Yeah? First time in the Gambia, yeah. Yeah? Um, what, in the whole of Africa or? Yeah, the whole of Africa. Actually, we've been to Morocco. To Morocco? Yeah, but okay. uh, I think Gambia is the real Africa, huh? It's the real Africa. <laughs> yeah, so how is the Gambian people? Yes, Lovely. Lovely. Uh, we're getting welcomed by everyone. Oh, Open that's arms. good. We are also very much excited, you know. Yeah. For the first time, we've been here. Everyone's so nice to us. Yeah. Everyone's see, smiling. The children, how they welcome you, everyone chasing you, everybody wants to take hands with you. Yeah. You know, say hello to you. Hey, That's good. What are you writing? My email address for the young man. 
So we can make up on it, inshallah. <laughs> Hello? What's your name? Adam Omani. Adam? Adam Omani? Very nice. And your name? Fatam. Fatam? And you? Adam. Adam Omani. Oh, Bruce Lee? Oh, boxer. <laughs> Hello. Very nice. Yes, hello. Hello, boy. Hello. Yes, you wanna see? Look, come here. Wait, wait. Ah, sorry. You <laughs> The original ones there. Look. For us, for us, what we got is to pray for you people that you have done for us. To give you a prayer. Jazakallah so much for that. What is your food every day? As in, is it always the same rice? No, no, no different, different. No, different. If you have rice, you cook rice. If you have millet, mil 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 you cook that. If you have kush, you cook that. If you have maybe cassava, you make as maybe just like as fufu. You yeah. organize that. Yes. The one you have is the one you have to cook. Okay. Yeah. How how often do you get a charity coming over here to try to help? No, it's not easy. Sometimes you go maybe two, three years, you not get charity. Two, three years. Where can we get bags? We need more bags. We're just packing them now. And then once we've packed it, or we've got enough to start giving out, because otherwise, what's going to happen is people are going to come back in again and again because we're too slow. I don't think we can do anything about that. Like last time. No, but if we give it out, then there's four or five people can stand in the queue and not pack it. Or whatever, yeah? Because otherwise, they only focus on the rice. survival. Therefore, we pray for your good luck, your good return, and God will give you more blessings. Inshallah. Time to keep it. It's yours. Okay, give it, give it to everyone, okay? Yeah. Okay. Share it with everyone, okay? Play with everyone, okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. You. No problem. Bye. Hello. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> We're broken. <laughs> There's nothing to be seen. Allah. Allah. No Tom Tom can find us small lot underneath my seat. You know because I've blown up. <laughs> 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 I've already seen. 
Yeah, I don't see there no more. There's no breakdown cover here. Hey, 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 come, come on. Hey, I learned in the game too. Yeah, man, come on. Bro, you're saying uh, something like, you know. Come on, you're a mechanic, man. Come on, do with it, man. That's a clean look at him. Oh, come on, hey, he's got this guy. Come on, it's a clean wind. I'm bloody near nowhere. It's overheated, Harry. It's just overheated. This is the highlight of NLMCC Youth at the moment. We're rocking down. Push up the ground. ومعجزة الله الكبرى عن سر الكون يحدثنا الله تعالى أنزله. We just reached Kacha and we have a welcoming party. Kalam Allah, 
داوي نفوسنا لنحس في أعماقنا أعماقنا الإيمان كالحجرات قسوة فإذا وعى القرآن حين اللانا كم من فؤاد كالحجرات قسوة فإذا وعى القرآن حين اللانا فإذا وعى القرآن حين When Haru said he, you were trying to you were coming to come here, yeah. I was really thinking, oh my God, what am I going to cope with so much young people? Well, alhamdulillah, you've done me really, really proud, you know, the behavior. Timekeeping was a bit <laughs> a hazard, but alhamdulillah, the, the main thing you've achieved a lot. And on behalf of the people of Gambia, I thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, it was a really good trip, um, definitely insightful. Yeah, is it what you expected? No, it definitely wasn't. Um, I expected it to be, obviously I expected to need the help in the work, that's yeah. why we came on the cherry trip, yeah. but um, the extent they actually need help with, um, the best moment would have been, I think, putting smiles on everyone's faces by distributing the food. I see a few things about Gambia, I love the country, I love the people, the people are very nice. Oh yeah, it's better than I expected to be honest with you, because obviously you have misconceptions when you are going on a holiday to Africa, you know, you think of poor people, this, that, obviously. It makes you a better person at the end of the day. It makes you smile as well, putting a smile on other people's faces. Basically, yeah, I would never thought Africa was at this point where uh, every, every, like, everyone in the country is now. Can you ask them to bring all their bags here? Yeah. Because back in London, if someone's here friendly to you, and you think that he's trying to call you, but obviously here, uh, everyone's friendly. It could be wicked, man. Yeah. It was sick, yeah. Giving charity here the last year. Me and new people, we literally knew everyone in our end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was, it was good, man. Good, like this. I've heard about a few trips, like Spain, Morocco, and that. But I didn't end up going. And then, um, see, this one came up, and especially being that like, my home country and that where my mum's from, it was a good experience, and I enjoyed it. It was really good. It was like really opens your eyes. Yeah. You hear about these kind of things on the news, on the TV, about poverty, in Africa, but it's only until you actually see it in person, you realise how bad it is. And it actually. Who we'll talks about what's happening? You see in front of you. Yeah, in front of you. Definitely once in lifetime experience. The things we went through, I never experienced it myself, and it was all beautiful, you know. I enjoyed every bit of it, and you know, at every stage throughout the trip, I always felt that you know I should have been able to give more. All right. But, you know, inshallah, I do have intentions of coming back to Gambia. Brilliant, again. brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Not just for a holiday, but you know, to you know, try carry on this work that we went through. Is the experience, you know, and I, I saw it for my own self that a lot of people need help. Experiencing Gambia is an unbelievable experience, one in a lifetime experience. Um, I enjoyed it very much, and um, hopefully, we'll definitely come back to it, even if it's by ourselves or with our friends or something. Even if it's not with us, I would still be good. I think we're a big experience, an eye opener. Um, really good. Best experience, I'd say. There isn't a best experience, I think. Everyone, every, every moment was good. You know? Best thing was about the people of Gambia. Yeah, the you know, experience, everyone was really happy, everyone was good. Even now, look, everyone just uh, smiling at us. 45, 45 guys. 42. Best trip, best trip of Senna, I think, definitely by far. Did you ever think of coming back again, doing some similar yeah, work? Definitely, definitely. definitely. I'll come, I'll even on my own, my own accord, I'll come back. Just, you know, yeah. okay. All right. Come back to Gambia and stuff. Well, I mean, have to come so back. we see you back again, huh? Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. And your name? Harun. Harun. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for volunteers attending the whole program. Alhamdulillah, we successfully raised over £21,000. Thanks to all our partners, Noor Aid, Noor Islam, Help, People's Empowerment, Life Project. Tawheed Boy School, Majid Kuba, with their support, Alhamdulillah, we managed to have 10 wells dug. We had solar panels installed into schools. Um, we managed to give out loads of educational resources. I think the young people should be commended for the efforts that they've, they've made. They've been involved in all the decision making throughout the whole program. They've actually decided where the money should be spent and how it should be spent. So they've been involved on each stage of the program. And really and truly, they should be commended in terms of how they've 
adjusted into these different climates, how they've adapted and grown into more mature, more experienced adults. In conclusion, I think without the support of the volunteers, this project would have not been what we finished up with. Um, I would like to thank every single person in terms of people that joined us and embarked us on this program, as well as the people that were on the ground that helped cook food that we sold during the, the event, the, the fundraising event, as well as those that were helping us out during the car wash event. You know, there's been hundreds of people involved in this project, and thanks to them, we can turn around and say, giving to Gambia was a success.